So I picked these cheap lights up from Walmart. There's like nine dollars a piece, and of course the side that I need it to be uh, plugged into the wall is on the opposite side. So I've got it all spread out. And please ignore the mess. I've got to clean it all up. Just haven't had time. Boom. And yes, the engine bay is dirty, but I'm not too concerned about that because a lot of the stuff is going bye-bye. What's up, everyone? Welcome to another video here on the LS Blue YouTube channel. My name is Zach. This is my LS Swap. Obvious. It's obviously LS Swap. It's my S10. This is LS Blue. And today's video is going to be a kind of part two for the LNC Lean Filter um, timing launch control box. I didn't go over exactly how we wired it up, so I'm going to try my best to explain how we did that today. Um, Mike did a majority of the wiring. He had it all pretty much figured out, um, and <laughs> he kind of did it all. Um, so I'm going to try to explain what all exactly he did. And maybe if you want to set yours up like this, maybe I could help. Maybe he could help. Just shoot us a message. But let me show you what we got going on here. I have the box mounted to the firewall here with some screws. And it has two leads that come off of the box that run over and we have them secured. They run to the coil packs. Let's go over to the other side. I can show you a little bit better. They run to the coil packs. They plug into the coil packs themselves, and they plug into the truck harness or your factory wiring harness, and that supplies the Lingenfelter box with the power and ground that it needs to power on. You'll have to please excuse the wiring. We haven't, I haven't tucked it away nice and tidy yet. The way we have the two-step or the RPM limiter is the yellow 12-volt activation wire runs into the cab to the brake switch, the brake pedal switch, underneath of all underneath the underneath of everything in the dash and you have to find a wire that is hot when the brake pedal is pressed you need 12 volts when the brake pedal is pressed that will activate the two step rpm limiter for this machine here please disregard all this wiring that i have to tuck up and hide away with some wire loom and stuff this is a NOS Mini 2 controller, progressive controller. It gives an output signal of a ground, and we had to convert that over using a 4-pin relay. I will leave a diagram of the relay that we used here. The reason that we use that is because the Lingenfelter box requires a 12-volt activation wire. The reason that we wired it up that way is because the nitrous controller here when it tells the solenoids to activate, it tells it to activate through a ground signal. And the, the LNC box, the feature that we were going to use, required a 12 volt activation. So we used a simple 4 pin relay to convert the ground signal over to 12 volts to activate the timing retard. And it works, and it works good. Alright, so a quick rundown of what we've got going. The LNC box plugs into the coil packs and the coil pack wiring harness that's in the main engine harness. I have a 12 volt activation wire going to my brake pedal switch. You have to have a 12 volt hot wire that is only hot when the brake pedal is pushed. That will activate your little rev, your little RPM limiter two step type deal. And I have a ground wire coming from my NOS Progressive Mini 2 controller that is the activation wire for my solenoids. I have it coming out of the controller going to a relay that tells the relay to switch over to 12 volts hot that sends 12 volts to the activation for the retard on the LNC 2000 which in turn pulls the timing for the nitrous. That is a basic rundown of what we've got going here. I hope that wasn't confusing because I kind of honestly confused myself a little bit but that's a basic gist of what we've got going on here. It's rather simple. I probably could have done it myself, but it would have probably taken a week or two to figure out. Mike had it done in about mm, two hours, and we was out making rips. But that's going to be all for this video. We've got some good content coming when we change these injectors over and put some bigger jets in there. We're going to fill some bottles, and we're going to go drag racing, try that new two-step out, turn the nitrous up while we're at the track. Hopefully we can run some good times. But I hope this video helped you guys, and if, if you have any more questions about the little box, shoot me a message on Instagram. 
leave me a comment on YouTube. I'll try to answer it as best as I can. And drop a comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you.